Hello, Identity 5 gamers. Maintenance has just ended recently, and that means we got a whole lot of new updates and whatnot. First things first, let's grab our compensation clues as always. I believe there's a good amount uh, that came with this update. We have the uh, New Year event that I believe is starting. We have the Memory uh, Spheres previous seasons thing has reset now. Um, I want to immediately see if I can set my new things. Here we go. Yeah, so now here we can uh, reset the guaranteed B, A, and S. I'm going to keep the S's the same. And it looks like the poles still carry over, so I only have to open up 23 more for a guaranteed A. So I already know what I'm setting as my uh, A tier. This is 100% going to be Datura. Here we are, season 22. We want Datura. That's right. The only one left I'll need is the, the Wicked Witch, which I'll have to get some other time, I suppose. As for the B tier, though, I don't know. Yeah, so there's nothing for Ento that I can get. So let me see if there's any other character I can get here. All right, you know what? It's taking me forever to decide. I think I'm going to go with Executioner Hellember. I don't, I don't have any cool Leo skin, so I think I'll go for that since I can't go for anything melee related. And you know what? Just for the heck of it, why not spend 10 right here, see if we can get that Leo. If I'll get that Leo right now, that would actually be kind of hype. Let's see. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. What did I just say? We just got Hell Ember Executioner. I'll take it, bro. I need a cool skin for him. I have nothing for him, bro. This one's actually pretty cool. Although the shark does look doofy as ever. Uh, we also got Harley Rider for Mechanic. I guess that's pretty cool. Um, is that a B tier or... That is a B tier. We also got Camouflage for Soul Sweaver. This is not a B tier, right? Yeah, so, it, so we got an extra B tier for Mechanic. I'll take it, dude. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, next up, I believe we got some new things returning to the shop. We got um, a New Year Clues package, a Spyglass package, which I think I actually want to get this because I need as many Spyglasses as possible since they're somewhat hard to get your hands on. Uh, and I believe we have a bunch of the... Uh, a bunch of oh, whatever this thing is called. Hold on, I, f I forget what it's called right now. Yeah, a bunch of the Mitsuji Kamata. Give me a second, guys. Cross. Okay, Mitsu Mitsu <laughs> Mitsuji Kamata crossover. Yeah. Um, I don't really know what this is, but all of the uh, the skins are now back in the shop. Uh, I personally am not really interested in any of these skins. I mean, this this animation is looking pretty cool already. <laughs> Okay, that was kind of funny. Uh, this this Soul Weaver skin is probably the one, if I were to get any of them, this would probably be the one I get, because, man, that's pretty cool, dude. Look at that. Ooh, spider. That's cool. She's like a freaking, like, metal iron spider. Okay, I actually really like this. Okay, hold on. If there's any skin that I'm going to get from... Jeez. All right, that's actually kind of hype. If there's any skin I'm getting from this, it's definitely Soul Weaver. Everybody else is kind of... I don't know, not, not really my taste. We also have um, Prospector's uh, request red packet coming back to the shop. He's like, please give me money, I'm poor. Rip, rip the go to Guisha. And then we also have the Wu Chang who can give out the red packet, which when I first saw this emo, I thought he was giving me a red card. So that's pretty funny. I'll probably pick these uh, up. We also have the firecracker uh, emote here that we can get for survivors, which I think I'm actually, um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab this emote uh, because I'm probably gonna grab all of them. But I also need to get the one for uh, female as well, so I can do it with uh, both Melly and everybody else. So there we go. I'm definitely gonna put that on my characters. We also have some awesome new furniture coming back to uh, the shop, which I think I actually want to get this uh, really beautiful tree here. I'm not quite sure just yet because my clues aren't really looking too good. Um, I need to make sure I have enough clues for when uh, Puppeteer comes out in about two weeks. Officially, he comes out next week from the Essence, but in two weeks he'll be uh, he'll he'll be here in the shop. So yeah, I think I might hold off on getting the tree until I know I'll have enough clues. I should have enough. I should. You know what the heck? I'm just gonna do it now. I give up. <laughs> the tree is too pretty, dude. It's too freaking pretty. Now I have like no clues. Oh, maybe getting Leo was uh, not worth it right away. Oh, now I kind of want this bamboo, too. This is pretty. All right, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll have to uh, start saving up the clues, I suppose, especially so that we can uh, make sure we have enough for Puppeteer. And speaking of Spyglass, I'm actually really close to 1,000 now, thanks to buying that. So I'll be able to get the Coordinator skin very, very soon. I wanted to get this one for a while since it looks really, really cool. And then I can start picking up some of these ones that only cost like a hundred eventually. So that's going to be awesome. I believe, let's take a look at Koa here now. 
Call of the Abyss. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get the uh, the next phase here. The unknown existence is like his great reflection underground. Yeah, see? Oh, baby. We're deep underground now. That's super cool. You weren't chosen. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, so I can't do anything here because my team did not make top 100. If you made top 100, uh, you will see something here. That'll be like, oh, you can continue on with the event. But unfortunately, I did not. Um, I don't know why this is highlighted. Unfortunately, I did not make it to the uh, top 100. I think my team was in like 800th or something. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I can only see the top seven teams. All I know is that Zeus's team, uh, I'm pretty sure made it through because he was in the top 100. Uh, yeah, this is scene three. The unknown existence is like his great reflection underground. That's actually, this is actually really pretty. Look at all like the spores flying around. That's really cool. I'm really curious to see what this uh, screen looks like for those who have uh, passed on through. Very curious to see. Maybe I can see if uh, Zeus can send me a screenshot or something. If I do have it, I'll pull it up here if he could send me something. That'll be really cool. But yeah, unfortunately, I can't really do too much here. Now, along with the Mitsuji Kamata crossover, there are some little events here that we can do. Uh, if you do some battles, you can get, I guess, whatever these are. Um, it's a daily quest. So I guess, yeah, you can eventually get all of these things, I think. Um, as long as you just do it daily. So we'll have to do that, I guess, at the end. Lots of stuff that we can get from this, honestly. Pretty cool. Oh, wait, did you see that? Look at that. So okay, this Soul Weaver one is so cute, bro. Okay, I'm actually starting to like the Soul Weaver skin. Hold on. Uh, and we also have, this looks like... Uh, unlock a crossover costume to obtain an A rarity thing. Okay. Uh, oh, these are furnitures. I see. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right, that looks to be all of the uh, Mitsuji Kamata crossover stuff. Now on to this one. Welcome the year of the dragon with T. Here we go. I turned on the music to see what this will all be about. On Lunar New Year's Eve, Chinatown remains bustling with activity. The streets are lined in rows like the dragon's scales, and the shops on both sides of the street are preparing to close. The restaurant is as busy as ever, with people still placing their hands on steaming soup pots, trying to keep warm as their gaze is drawn upward toward the chirping birds upon the large sign. Uh, the large sign of what? That thing up there? Several people hurry along the road, lowering their hats in the cold wind without stopping for a second. This is so cool, dude. Year of the Dragon is actually, like, such a cool theme, dude. Such a freaking cool theme. Like, Year of the Rat, like, bro, who cares about Year of the Rat? Year of the Dragon's where it's at, bro. Uh, the antique shop occupies a corner far from downtown. Its archaic doors are wide open, and the fallen leaves in front of them seem to have been carefully swept away. I see, so is this, like, Antiquarian Shop, I guess? No, I- Antique Restorer. Okay, well, Gardener, hello. I thought nothing would come of our meeting each other like that. I never imagined the young lady claiming to be the shopkeeper would actually take a liking to my restoration work and ask me to work at her shop. From now on, it looks like Chinatown will be my home. Is this her talking or is this me talking to her? I don't know how this works. The shopkeeper said she finally ended up here after journeying from the east in her youth. After spending a long while making connections in various places, she also joined a well-known dragon dance troupe. Oh yeah, speaking of which, we get an, uh, a bunch of rewards from this event, right? Uh, there's a dragon dance emote that you can get. I don't know what it looks like, but you can apparently upgrade it. So that's gonna be uh, pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, she joined a well-known dragon dance troupe just recently. They will arrive in Chinatown next week to prepare for the big performance. I need to quickly pass along the news to, oh, I still have a few special matters to take care of before that. I see, I guess we go inside the shop now? Whoa, who is that? Hello, what the? The shop's furnishings look marvelous. Just look at all the antiques in the compartments of this old wooden cabinet. They just might be exactly what I need for my restoration work. Okay, so this is definitely her, I'm guessing. Uh, the scent of pearwood is so soothing. A shop assistant is wearing a black and red velvet hat and dozing off with his head propped up on his hand. Perhaps I should ask him. Hello, excuse me. Uh, who goes there? Oh, are you the new restore the shopkeeper mentioned in the letter? Uh, that's right. Here's my letter of recommendation. The shopkeeper said she'll return to Chinatown next week with the Dragon Dance Troupe to prepare for their Dragon Dance performance. 
She said to tell you it's the troop that came to Chinatown many years ago, and you'd know what I was talking about. She also added that because the leader of the Dragon Dance troupe is an old acquaintance of the previous shopkeeper, some special preparations will need to be made. The members of the Dragon Dance troupe are fond of the tea served at the Grand Theater, and each of them has their preferences, so we'll need to speak with the madam there first. <sighs> the shopkeeper is as thoughtful as ever, I see. I hear that last time, the Dragon Dance troupe came to Chinatown, she was just a young apprentice. Still, learning from the previous shopkeeper how to appraise antiques and run a business. You're wondering how I know about all these little details related to the antique shop's past? Well, the previous shopkeeper left a ledger filled with notes, and since the shop isn't too busy these days, I've been leafing through it now and then. By the way, the last time the Dragon Dance troupe came to Chinatown, they stashed an old set of costumes in the shop. If you're interested in dragon dancing, I can tell you more. Mm, that would be great, but the Madam of the Grand Theater should be coming over to see me any moment now. The shopkeeper arranged for her to teach me how to make tea snacks. Tea snacks, huh? It so happens that I saw her at the store entrance uh, just now, right over there. You can have a look when you head out. Okay, let's find the madam. Who is this? I saw Creature Pearson, bro. What the? Who is this? Wait, is this is this coordinator? From, I think it might be. I don't. Is it? I don't know. I think it is. It's got the same hairstyle. Whatever. Hmm, an unfamiliar face. Are you the newcomer I'm supposed to be teaching about tea snacks? Yes, it's a pleasure to meet you. The shopkeeper told me to prepare to entertain our guests from the Dragon Dance Troupe. They'll arrive in Chinatown in a week, and apparently, the leader's most cherished memory of Chinatown was of the refreshments he enjoyed at the Grand Theater. I want to learn about tea customs and how to make tea snacks so I can present the troupe members with their favorite treats and welcome them properly after their long journey. Hmm, that won't be a problem at all. Ah, uh, it's been a long time since I've heard mention of the, the Dragon Dance Troupe. This is what we'll do. You bring me the daily ingredients required, and I'll use them to teach you all about serving tea. Of course, I'll also do my utmost to help you prepare. Amazing! I really can't thank you enough. You don't need to thank me. After all, my old friend is returning to Chinatown to perform the- uh, to perform. This is a joyous occasion, one well worth putting in some effort to prepare for. Jeez, it doesn't end. You must be wary from rushing all the way here to Chinatown today. I'll bet what you need right now is a pot of hot, refreshing tea. I was about to, uh, my, my, my freaking mind auto-filled that with pot of greed. <laughs> <laughs> From freaking Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. Oh my gosh. Uh, when you first step into a tea house, tradition dictates that the staff must first ask about the size of your party and which type of tea you'd like. So today, let us start with tea leaves and that the and the tea ceremony. The tea set. Oh, I guess it's right up there. Uh, the tea set is ready. Could you help me find some tea? Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the rewards for anything else. So day one, we can accept the clue, except not right now. Day two, we get a graffiti. Um, oh, I see. Okay, so this is this is Gamekeeper's graffiti. This is Antiquarian's graffiti, and then this is Acro's graffiti. I see. All right then, Nito. What about um? What's up with Creature Pearson here? Oh, I hear a Dragon Dance troop who will be coming to Chinatown in a few days' time. In fact, it's all everyone seems to be talking about these days. They haven't even arrived yet, and they're already stealing the spotlight. If you ask me, it's impossible to know if they'll even be any good before actually seeing them put on their little show. Ah, how am I supposed to make a living with them moving in on my territory? Alright, bro. Whatever you say, bro. Uh, what's up with you, though? Uh, the tea set is ready. Could you help me find some tea? <sighs> okay, I'll look for tea later. I guess I have to battle for tea. Alright. Uh, what's up, painter? How's it going, bro? 
May your Lunar New Year be prosperous and auspicious. Enjoy the festivities in Chinatown. Thanks, pal. How about you, Tracy? Hmm. The antique shop has been a lot more animated than usual these days. Hey, you must be the new antique restorer. The shopkeeper will be back in just a few days. Oh, in just a few days, question mark. Sorry. I've heard about her. She may not bother much with trivial matters concerning her shop, but she's skilled in martial arts. That makes her a perfect fit for the dragon dance. I see. I assume they're talking about Antiquarian. I can only imagine because it's literally an antique shop. She is the antique dealer after all. Okay, well, it looks like we can't get any rice until we do a battle. So, we got a battle. I think now is the perfect time to test out our new Hell Ember skin. Gonna be going in with the camping uh, persona web here. Um, don't really know what to expect. I am gonna keep Blink on Leo. We're also on Chinatown, which is uh, pretty fitting. We also got the Norton from the Mitsuji whatever crossover. All right, let's see what we can cook up here. Alrighty. Um, yeah, so my Leo is garbage, we know this, but if I can get like a tie, I, I, I would take a tie, but against this team, it's gonna, might be a little hard. Okay, here we go, we got two people over here. Norton and Lily, I see. Norton's probably easier to chase. Lily has two pom-poms. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Here we go. Oh, that's a bit of a long stun, yeah. Let's try and go for Lily. At least she doesn't have stun, she just has speed. I need to get a hit, bro. Maybe I should've brought insolence or something, I don't know. Oh dear. She can just beep beep. Beep 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 beep. Does she have beep beep? Oh, I just get the hit anyway. Um, wait, I can just blink down her now. I mean, she's gonna have a beep beep, but if I can blink her, that would be much better. Nah, she's gonna beep beep. Okay, once once she slows down, we can blink. Or we just blink right here. There we go, boom. Beautiful blink from the Leo, let's go. Although it was like a three cypher kite. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Okay, I need to go all the way over here. Um, I need to take her further and further away from the hotel area, bro, because freaking hotel, it's pretty good, dude. Oh, here comes journalist. Okay, hold on. Um, let me, let me just try to full on camp. Let me just try to full on camp here. Hold on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, wait, what, what just happened? How did I, what happened? I actually don't know what happened there. No, I should just, I should just get journal. I should just take journalist, right? No, I should just keep journals on the chair. My, my character's good at camping. I have to just do what I do good. Can I afford going all the way over here, break these pallets? I kind of wanna, but I, I can also get my, hold on, there's somebody over there. Hold on, somebody's over there, somebody's over there. Okay, boom, we got journalists. Okay, we can 100%, we can 100%, we can 100 make this a tie. If I can kill journalists here one more time. Oh, here comes freaking Norton, bro. Oh my gosh. I dropped her, I dropped her, I dropped her. We're good, I dropped her. I dropped her, we're good. Okay, he's out of there, he's out of there. Okay, boom, boom, boom. This is good, this is good, this is good. He's gonna actually just per... All right, Norton's down too. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> no harasser, bro, no harasser. Yeah, you d you just patrol around, bro. He can just warp through that? What? That's crazy. Um, I can't, I can't afford to, hold on, I can't. Um, I'll put you here, but I, I can't afford to, uh, I need, I need Journalist dead, bro. Journalist has to die. She's gotta die, bro. Oh. What, hello? Oh, I hit Journalist too, let's go! Okay, Norton gets back up, that's fine. But, um, unless he magnets here, there's no way he's gonna magnet, right? There's no way. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. All right, and now I just swap over here. I can chase after Lily. That should've hit, oh my gosh, that should've hit. Yeah, I figured she was gonna do that. I do have Blink, should I just Blink here? Get Sheila down, she's already been on the chair. I'm just gonna Blink. There we go, I need it. I just have to get her down. I'm okay with a tie, bro, I'm completely fine with a tie. I just... I need to cook, bro. I need to cook. Now now we'll swap to teleport. Now I'm cool with swapping to teleport. Um, here's the chair. All right, patient's gonna come on in. I really wish my puppets were over here. They're kind of just sitting over there and being dumb. Somebody's over here. Who is this? I think it's Prospector. Is he just gonna pop? Oh, it's pretty darn close. No, I can't hit him there. Um, can he make it to her? Or is patient going for her? No, I gotta, I gotta stop. Hold on. I have to make sure cheerleader dies. I have to make sure cheerleader dies. All right, boom, cheerleader's dead. Okay, we're good. We're good, they're just gonna pop. They're just gonna pop. Yup, right? Pop, pop. Should be about ready, right? All right. <laughs> I guess we got a 3K. Let's go, Leo. Woo, Leo Gaming. <gasps> they're gonna go for the save, aren't they? Oh, he is. Hold on, he is going for the save. Okay, hold on. I wish I had enough energy here, um, but he's right here. I can just get him down again. 
I'm not picking up tinnitus. I think I'm free to just go for it. I'm gonna- No! I just... No! Wait, I have puppet. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I have puppet. I have puppet. I'll just swap back over. Did I bait him in? Did I bait him in? Oh, I do see him. Oh, he, he can probably make it to a dungeon. There's no way I can catch up to him, bro. There's no way. Oh, he got dungeon. Yeah, okay. He got, he got dungeon. He got dungeon. That's fine. We got a 3k as Leo. Honestly, I'll take it, bro. So what do you have to say now that we have the tea leaves, huh? The tea set is ready. Could you help me find some tea? I, yeah, I did. Uh, oh, here we go. Hand over the tea. Yes. Tea time. Whoa, it's a pot. There's an old saying in the world of tea drinking. One cup accompanied by two pieces. This refers to guests coming to a tea house and ordering a pot of tea and two snacks. The tea moistens the guest's throat, while the snacks satisfy their hunger. The size is not too great and not too small. Therefore, it is known as a standard serving. Any tea house worth its salt should offer a wide range of tea varieties to choose from. Ah, uh, Pierre, I don't know how to pronounce that. Black tea, oolong tea, and chrysanthemum? Cr chrysanthemum? I don't know. Tea each have their own flavors. You may even find that some of the more sophisticated tea enthusiasts will bring their own rare treasures to your door. The tea house was not always as grand and majestic as it is now. In the old days, we simply erected a wooden sign with simple tables and chairs so that passers-by passers had a place to rest their feet and chat for a while. Friends get- uh, she actually nods, what the heck? Uh, friends get together to laugh and be merry, enjoying a mouthful of fine refreshments, followed by a sip of good tea. It all sounds so relaxing. Indeed. Perhaps it is precisely because this sort of socializing among guests holds such significance in tea drinking that two particular tea traditions came into being, namely the lid lift and the table tap. If guests wish to express their needs or their gratitude to their host, there is often no need for them to interpret the, fl the flow of conversation. All their intentions lie hidden in a few subtle actions. First, we have the lid lift. If the teapot is almost empty and more water needs to be added, you just need to lift the lid and balance it tilted on the spout. Seeing this, the server will understand your request and add water right away. Uh, how about the table tap? The table tap is something you can do when tea shop staff add water to your pot or pour you some tea. It involves putting your index and middle fingers together and lightly tapping the table. This little gesture is equivalent to a thank you. I feel like I've seen this before. I feel like I've seen people do this before. Interesting. Assuming the tea leaves have already been brewed and you have that supreme second blue sitting in your pot when someone comes along and pours you a cup. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, table tap. Can you guys hear this? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Index finger and middle finger, right? <laughs> I'm doing it. Sorry. I know I shouldn't be as aggressive. It's a very important cultural thing. Uh, uses two fingers to... <laughs> I was actually about to say that out loud, bro. Use two fingers to tap the table lightly three times. There we go. Okay. Yes, that's it. Okay, cool. Oh, there, there's the daily thing. There we go. Oh, end of day one. Cool. Alrighty then. Um, that's awesome. It looks like we can still, uh, yeah, no, nobody else in it. Looks like we can still talk to her though. What's up? Happy Lunar New Year. Sip some tea at Grand Theater when you're free. Okay. That's just her like generic discussion, I guess. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, it looks like every single day we get to do a battle and then, uh, then we can do some tea things or whatever. I'll take it, dude. I'm glad to get these uh, little rewards here. Oh, but did you think we were done there, everybody? No, we are not done just yet. We have three things to check out. We have the Season 30 Essence 2 background story uh, and the Nyad and Wu Chang best performance songs to take a look at. So let's get right into it. All right, we're starting with Season 30 Essence 2, the chess theme. I really like all three the rules of, the game? Uh, of the characters here. Matthias, cheerleader, and... Uh, Night watch. Offense. Yo, get him, cheerleader! Yeah. Or be eaten. Yo, night watch is so cool, bro. Yo. All the charging and fighting. Opera. What? All the preparation and sacrifice. It's all for victory. 
Bro, I don't care who I get. The only reason these chess pieces exist. I just want at least one of them. Not? Oh, the threads of the puppeteer. Oh, snap. Yo, ew, get out of there, Lewis. Ew. Stop watching all everybody die. Ugly, bro. Ben, what are you doing here? Ew. Oh. Please. Hello. So, do you know the rules now? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> bro, Lewis is actually so creepy. What the heck? He's actually gonna be in my nightmares. What is up with that, bro? That's disgusting. <laughs> that was cool though. That was pretty cool. I will, I'll give it up. Yeah, let me know if you're gonna be like extensively pulling on a uh, season 30 essence two. Let me know which character you wanna go for. I imagine a lot of you wanna go for Matthias, but honestly, I'm cool if I get Matthias, Lily, or Ithaqua. They all look so cool. All right, next up, we have Wu Chang's uh, best performance theme song here, which I don't really know too much about what the best performance uh, thingies are, but this does seem really neat. If you wanna check these out, by the way, I'll leave links to all three of these uh, little things that we're reacting to in the description. So if you wanna listen to this beautiful song without my crusty voice covering it over, uh, definitely let me know. This is more of just like a fun reaction type uh, thing to end off the video with here. So, what do we got? The art is really good so far. Do they have these for like multiple characters? I know Journalist had one. But Journalist was like just herself, not like an essence or something. Or a costume or whatever. It's actually really pretty. Why is this so good? What the? Dude, the graphics are actually so freaking good. Holy moly. It's so like overly complex, but it works so well. It's also just pretty in general. I feel bad because I don't know like anything about Wu Chang's lore. Yo, dude, the the transitions and the graphics are actually dummy good. All right, it's actually the music's actually kind of a banger too. Hold on, I'm actually just gonna be playing this on repeat. This skin actually looks really good, dude. It looks really freaking. Is this an S tier? Are they S tier skins or they're A tier? I actually don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know which one of them is singing either. <laughs> maybe maybe it's both of them. Oh, he's got the bell. Uh oh, ding. Yo, this is freaking beautiful, dude. Oh my gosh. This is really pretty. My? Okay, it's not our. I don't know. I don't know his lore. Is he like? Is okay. Is white guard and black guard? Is that the same person? Aren't they like brothers? I thought they were like brothers. Am I stupid, bro? I literally don't know anything about Wu Chang. I'm sorry. It's really pretty theme though. The blue on their outfit, oh, it's so good, dude. It actually, is that is blue, right? It's either purple or blue. I'm colorblind, I'm sorry. It's really pretty, though. The water effect is so good, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, is this them singing together? Oh, okay, so it is two of them, I see. So they they sang together there. I guess it was like, the first part was maybe one of the brothers and the second part was the other one. Interesting, that was good. Yo, that was cool. This is all like really new to me, so. Interesting. Well, good theme song, Wu Chang. That was cool, let's take a look at Nyads now, I suppose. Now, I can only imagine that Nyad's gonna be pretty similar here. 
Oh, she's gonna have a lot of cool water effects. I know I mean my Naya, guys. I know I'm like, oh, we always hate Naya. I don't like fighting Naya. I fun her to attack speed, but like, bro, I can I can give it up for the character, okay? I, I can give it up for the character. Wait. Oh, this is not in English. Oh, interesting. Huh, I wonder why the Wu Chang one was in English. Alright, this one seems a lot more somber, a lot more relaxing. Look at the jellyfish in the back, bro! Yo! Okay, yeah, this is this is pretty, dude. What the heck? Yo, these kind of go hard, though. They go hard on the art with this. The water looks so good. Do they only do these for hunters? I'm kind of wondering, like, could Melly get one of these? <laughs> I'm paying attention to the lyrics, though. Oops. She said somehow voiceless. That's interesting. I can't help but wonder if that's, like, a reference to like little mermaid or something because she kind of is like a mermaid right? well sort of nah she's not really a mermaid she doesn't really have like she doesn't have like a mermaid tail what the heck what's happening now yo the piano though my eyes what is happening the frame rate is so weird it's really pretty though oh snap she's got the the funny she's got the lance What's up with the chains? I feel like I should actually be like paying more attention to the lyrics, dude. <laughs> the abyss. Oh no, that's your ability. Like soinks. I think now I should also admit I don't know anything about Naya's lore either. Alright, that's really pretty. Yo, shooting star! Woo! Did she like drown or something? I need to like watch the actual background stories of the characters, bro. There's just so there's so much to catch up on for me, dude, I swear. Yo, look at all the creatures! Yo, the jellyfish! That one's a huge jellyfish! Holy moly! That's a big jellyfish. And the fish in the background? Yo, hold on now. Yo, there's so much moving on the screen. Sheesh. Where'd she go? What the heck? Where'd you go? Grace! That's okay. I can still look at the funny... The funny jellyfish. Alright, this one was definitely a lot more somber than the Wu Chang one. It felt a lot more sad. Pipe Dream. I guess that's the name of the song. Interesting. Yeah, that was uh, similar with the style, but like, well, maybe not some, well, I guess a little bit. That was also really good though. I gotta give it up. It's called Pipe Dream, but I think the one who actually had the pipes was Grace. She sure can sing. Anyways, again, I'll leave links to those in the description if you want to check them out. But yeah, that's all the new stuff going on in Identity 5. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you all later. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.